is it me or are these an absolute steal? You see, what I've got here, they're not expensive watches. They're actually Art Deco inspired dress watches. Very traditionally sized, very elegant, beautiful to look at, beautiful to wear, but I'm getting some Longines and Cartier, some JLC vibes off these, just to name a few. And I'll tell you what, in the scheme of things, if you compare these to some of these top end brands, these are a steal. Now, a lot of people know that I'm not a dress watch guy, but I couldn't ignore these. These are absolutely stunning. The look, the finishing, the attention to detail, accurate, a delight, really good light play. There's nothing really to complain here, especially at that price. You see, these watches are coming in at 350 bucks, and I'm thinking, what's the catch? Now I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'm not a dress watch guy, I never really have been and I don't think I ever will be, but you know, for me personally, I really like tool specific watches, more like chronographs, divers, field watches or pilots, but I tell you what, I do have a real appreciation for the attention to detail and the excellent design that goes into a dress style watch. And when they look and wear this well, then it stirs up my attention as a watch enthusiast. Now after spending a week on the wrist with these watches, I've also struggled to find any real gripes with them, but I will try to dig deep and find a gripe or two on these watches. But put that aside, as a non-dress watch guy, what has been my experience with these watches? Well, firstly, let me tell you the specs of the watch and then I'll tell you my experience. Now you saw the pop-up, this video is sponsored by Second Hour. They will be supplying me with one of these watches, so I will leave the links in the description section for you guys to check them out. The case dimensions I measure are 28 by 31.7 with a lug to lug of 39.5. That case height comes in at 7.5 mil, it's a curved case and the lug width is a standard 20 mil. Now the crown is a 4.9 millimeter sign, push pull crown, the watch offers 50 meters of water resistance and the total weight that I measure on these supplied leather straps comes in at exactly 43 grams. And looking at the overhead on my 18 centimeter wrist, these fit exactly what you'd expect from a dress watch. That height has been superb. The comfort on the leather strap has also been very stable. And I've got to be honest guys, I've actually not known that the watches are on the wrist. Coming in at 43 grams on the strap as is, they're super lightweight. Now saying that the watch is super lightweight doesn't mean that it's cheap or it feels cheap. It actually feels expensive. I think the fine mirror-like polishing has been done to a very good level, as well as that high grade satin brushwork. But to top that all off, the watches actually feature a surface hardening of 800 Vickers. Hopefully these cases will keep that look for a long, long time to come. Because I don't know anyone who really bashes up a dress watch or treats it rough. So this should look like this for years to come. Now there's a couple of heroes of this watch. And one of them is that sapphire crystal. Or I should say sapphire crystal and case. Because they match a particular profile. Because the profile of that sapphire crystal and that case follow the contour of your wrist. The sapphire has anti-reflective coating on the underside. I've enjoyed the different reflections that have come off that crystal and I've not had any washout, which has been great. It really feels like I've got a mature design here. From that 7.5 mm curved shape, it benefits this watch visually as well as functionally. So it does look like a grown up mature design. So in that regard, well done. Now looking closely at the leather straps, they basically taper from 20 to 17.7. You've got quick release end links, as you can see, clean stitching, quality seems to be at a very good level, and they've also got branded buckles. So the hardware of the watch seems to work really well. Now powering the watch is a Swiss made Ronda Slim Tech Quartz, caliber 1069. It's basically a small seconds movement with six jewels and gold plating. Now you don't need to show off a quartz movement with a display case back. And on these watches, as you can see, that solid curved case back has not spared any attention to detail and light play. From its curvaceous shape and design to the intricate fine detailed lines, I'm pretty gobsmacked at what they've done for this price. And on that note, what is the price? You see, the pre-order pricing on these watches are 350 bucks, and that's for two weeks only. And at the end of the pre-order, the watches go up to 425. Now in saying all that, what are my gripes of these watches? Well, to be honest, not much, not much. There's, look, if I have to be nitpicky, I'd probably have to say they're a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. 
The actual polishing on this is so well done, they're a mirror finish. Secondly, the fact that the watches are quartz, they're great, but I also would have loved to see an automatic version. I know the price would have been different, of course, but I feel that the watch's finishing and attention to detail really does justify an automatic movement in this. Another potential gripe could be that crystal. It does pick up quite a few reflections in different lighting situations, but it's the nature of the beast. When you get a sapphire crystal that follows the curve of a case like this, you really can't avoid that. I've seen that on a couple of different major brands have got the same issue, but as an overall finished look and the addition of that AR coating, I think Second Hour has done well here. And that's pretty much it guys, because the quality finish and feel of this watch has been good. It's actually been surprising. I really think at this pre-order price of 350, there's not a lot to complain here guys. I've got a really well finished watch in front of me. I think Second Hour has done an exceptional job on these, not really compromising in any area and giving a watch that's thin, wearable, looks the business, the polished Arabics and indices on that dial catch the light beautifully. So overall, a really nice package. It's inexpensive in the back pocket, all things considered, but it's not inexpensive as far as what it feels and what it looks like, if that makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. My take on the second hour memoir, it's a lovely piece. I fully appreciate the design work and the execution that's gone into this. The balance, the feel, the wearability, everything just seems to work and it works really well. So leave me your thoughts in the comment section, guys. If you're keen on the watch, I do encourage you guys, get on their website, have a look because a pre-order is only available for two weeks. And if you were in the market for a dress watch, it'd be a shame to miss out on this one. Thanks again for watching. Be well and safe. Enjoy the watch that's on your wrist. Enjoy the hobby. And we'll see you in the next one.